Hi guys, Sage is here. I forgot to talk about this last time because it was a boo from, you know, getting that Lindy pull. But still, nonetheless, I figured it would, you know, take some time, talk about it real quick, and this is mostly a PSA for the next gauntlet, which starts the 5th, and has a quite, <laughs> quite a vast amount of casting characters that's going to be in this one, and they're both big and small, and there's an obvious winner like last time. So, last time we had Lucina. This time we have... All of these eight, and there's an obvious person that I'm pretty sure is going to win this one, and that would be Camilla, because, well, she's the most recognizable out of all of these, and of course, Intelligent Systems thinks it's a good idea to, instead of putting, you know, instead of putting another, you know, Wyvern Rider who might be more interesting in there, instead we're getting Camilla again. So I figured I would take the time to just explain this real quick, since a lot of people were like, oh, I'm gonna go with Team Camilla. Maybe, perhaps, not go with Team Camilla right from the get-go. And I mean that because, well, um, as you can see here, Lucina had so many people there. So many people. And chances are, if you contributed a lot, but you didn't keep up too much, you may have ended up unranked. And that happened a lot in every round that Lucina was a part of. Essentially, there were so many people in her army that it basically made your contribution kind of less... In a, in a sense. A lot of people ended up unranked. I ended up unranked in the final thing, even though, honestly, I was doing it quite quite often. I had already used most of my flags up to that point, however. I still have five here, apparently, but, you know, that gives you an idea. And that's the problem, is that when you go with the bandwagon character, you're going to get in, you know, kind of pigeonholed into this little environment where you're not going to be getting the... <laughs> the maximum amount of feathers you could obtain if instead you went with another character and, you know, went with that. I would say if you're going to go with any character, go with someone you might, you know, think will win the first round and then go with that one. If you have a favorite character, go with that one and, you know, try to contribute to that one. Don't worry so much about Camilla because if you're, I mean, if you're going to go with Camilla, that's fine too, but expect a lot of people are going to be on her army and that means that your contribution is probably going to be weighed a bit less because there are so many people. That's what happened last time. Granted, they've stated that they're going to be changing things. So, who knows what happens. There's going to be special quests and all this other nonsense. But still, what I really highly suggest here is that you, instead, go with the character of maybe Cordelia on the other side. Or Hanoka, or, you know, Shershi. Whoever you really like and see who's going up against who. And then pick that team. Because that way, you'll have a better chance at more feathers. And this way, you won't have to worry too much about, you know, going up against a hard hitter and or being on that hard hitters team and then getting your contributions kind of knocked down to nothing. Because even though I was contributing quite a bit in the second and first round here, I was still getting very low ranks. And even in the last one, I ended up being unranked, meaning I got a lot less feathers, which really sucks. Hopefully, with the next one, they'll change it. But, well, I mean, that's pretty much just how it's going to go with the gauntlet, and I have to say, pick a different character. Do not go straight for Camilla if you're going to go for it. Go for different varied characters this way. When they get up to the next portion, and if they lose, that's fine, then you can go with someone else. And that way, you might lose a little bit more feathers, but it's probably better than going with straight Camilla and just getting, you know, I, I think from here, I barely got a thousand. You could probably get a lot more if you go with a different character and help them through the first initial round. And of course, if you want to go with the last round, hell, why not? Honestly, I'm hoping that they'll change the gauntlet a bit more and maybe next time they, you know, they don't go with this whole, hey, here, there's Camilla. I strongly suggest going with the team you like that usually will yield more feathers because you'll be contributing a lot more. Bandwagon characters are just kind of annoying and unfortunately it doesn't look like we're going to be getting that change that we wanted because now we have another, I guess, face in the, in the, you know, thing. So, anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say there, guys. Hope this was helpful in some ways. Just wanted to try and see what would happen. So, okay, guys, catch you later. See you soon.